In this video, we're gonna look at the Empress Effects Zoya. The new firmware already came out and it came with the MIDI clock in module. So we're gonna start off, we have audio in, audio out. What we wanna do is just add MIDI clock in. So my Synstrom Deluge is playing and it's sending the clock through, as you can see. So now I'm gonna add a time divider. This is going to be able to let me multiply or divide based off of that tempo. Next, we're gonna add a sequencer. And it's just going to be, we'll just do four steps, just like last time. We're going to use two SV filters, just like before. Since it's a stereo signal, I'm going to create two of them. So there's the first one. Again, we're just going to copy, shift, copy. We're going to put it down there. So now what we're going to do is create value control module. I'm going to use the value module, and I'm going to connect them to both of these. So if I want to control both sides of the stereo signal, it's just going to be through this one module. And let's actually copy that down. We're going to use this one to modify frequency of both of these filters. And we're going to use this one to modify the Q of these filters. Now what I want to do is add a VCA and we're going to make it stereo. So the VCA, the, all that is is a volume control. So first off, the audio signal. So we have left and right here. Now I'm gonna route the left one to the in on this SV filter. We're gonna route the right to this in on the SV filter. Now we're gonna route this output for that SV filter to the first input on the VCA or the volume control. And then this is gonna go on the second one. Now here's the two outputs for the VCA. That's gonna go, left is gonna go to left output. Right's gonna go to right output. So now that's all wired in. So next what we wanna do, we're gonna assign these values. This one's gonna go to the filter frequency and then that filter frequency. And then this is gonna control the Q of that filter and the Q of that filter. So now when I move this, it's going to change. As you can see, the lights get brighter or dimmer depending of those values. So now it's just controlled by a single twist. So next what we wanna do, this is a sequence, uh, it's not being triggered yet. So here's the clock in, and we want that to go into the clock divider. So there to there. And now this, we want that to go into the gate. So now if I connect that, we can see the sequence progressing. Next, what I want to do is have this sequence go out to the frequency of both of these filters. So we're just wiring that in. And then what we want to do, we're going to select any of these sequences here. We're going to press the knob down because we're just going to use numerical values. And I'm just going to pick pretty much some random levels here. And now we're going to play. We don't hear anything yet because we have to bring up the volume. and we can start hearing it. Okay, so that's great, but we can't really tell what it's running from from the clock. So I'm gonna put on a beat that's on the deluge. So we can hear. I'm gonna turn up the cue on these. And now we can go to the divider. Let's make it like, let's say faster. So we're gonna multiply it. So this has many uses, but I just wanted to show kind of like to add on to the last video we just did. So uh, it's pretty awesome that we now can use our MIDI clock. We have to use a MIDI start signal and it will just trigger whatever we want from here. I will be doing more videos covering more modules and more techniques. So stay tuned.